Welcome to Bidolf Grange Gardens, an extraordinary 19th century Victorian masterpiece in Staffordshire, England. This garden isn't just a place to stroll, it's an immersive journey through the world. Designed with precision, each step takes you from ancient Egypt to China, through an Italian terrace and into the depths of the Himalayan glades. So, prepare to be transported, and let's explore the remarkable story behind this unique garden. Our journey begins with the visionary behind it all, James Bateman. Born in 1811, Bateman was a prominent horticulturist and naturalist, fascinated by plants, especially orchids. In the 1840s, Bateman and his wife Maria moved to Bidolf Grange, and over the next 20 years transformed their land into one of the most ambitious gardens of the time. Bateman's vision was unlike any other, to create a garden that allowed visitors to experience botanical wonders from across the globe divided into thematic landscapes. To bring his vision to life, Bateman worked with the talented artist and garden designer Edward Cook. Together, they created a series of interconnected rooms or compartments within the garden. Each section represented a different part of the world, linked by hidden tunnels and pathways, with sculptures, plants and architectural features to heighten the experience. Bateman and Cook used their fascination with different cultures and nature to guide every meticulous detail, making Bidolf Gardens an educational and immersive experience. One of the most enchanting areas in Bidolf Grange Gardens is the Chinese Garden. Step through its arched entrance and suddenly you're transported to a world of red pagodas, golden Buddha statues and lush bamboo. Bateman's Chinese Garden was one of the first in England to bring authentic design and plants from China. In Victorian times, China was considered exotic and mysterious. Bateman's Garden showcased this cultural fascination, with winding paths, a picturesque lake and vibrant colors creating a sense of wonder and discovery. Now let's step into ancient Egypt, a rare and fascinating section of Bidolf Grange Gardens. The Egyptian court is a bold nod to Egyptomania, a craze that swept Europe in the 19th century following Napoleon's campaigns in the region. Passing through a grand stone arch with a carved sphinx atop, we find replicas of Egyptian statues, including a pair of mysterious yet majestic lions guarding the entrance. This section offers a stark contrast to the other garden areas, and the unique atmosphere Bateman created here reflects Victorian England's curiosity about ancient cultures. Our journey continues to the Italian terrace, an elegant and peaceful area inspired by the grand gardens of the Italian Renaissance. This section is all about symmetry and harmony, a nod to classical beauty. Statues of cherubs and Roman gods, decorative stone balustrades, and neatly shaped flowerbeds create a scene straight out of Tuscany. Here, Bateman's love for art and architecture shines, with perfectly manicured lawns and delicate flowers like roses and lavender. The Italian garden reminds us that Bidolf Grange was as much about aesthetics as it was about plants and nature. Beyond the gardens, another of Bateman's passions comes to light in the geological gallery. Bateman wanted to create a gallery that linked geology with biblical history, a concept that was both fascinating and controversial at the time. Inside the gallery, visitors could view an arrangement of fossils and rocks, showcasing the progression of life from its early stages up to humanity. Bateman's gallery was revolutionary, and while his scientific conclusions were soon outdated, his dedication to promoting scientific curiosity remains evident. After Bateman's death in 1897, the garden went through a period of neglect.
Bidolf Grange itself was repurposed several times, once even serving as a hospital. Over the decades, the gardens fell into disrepair. In the 1980s, however, the National Trust took ownership of the property and began a significant restoration project. Volunteers and historians worked tirelessly to bring the garden back to its Victorian glory, uncovering hidden pathways and restoring statues and architectural elements. Today, Bidolf Grange Garden stands as a testament to Bateman's unique vision. His blend of science, art and horticulture remains as inspiring now as it was over a century ago. Each compartmentalized section still enchants visitors, with every turn revealing a new world and telling a different part of Bateman's story. From the romantic allure of Italy to the mysteries of ancient Egypt and the serene landscapes of China, Bidolf Grange Gardens is more than a historical site, it's an adventure through Victorian imagination and ambition. As you explore these gardens, remember Bateman's love for the world's beauty and diversity, a love that's preserved in every path, statue and plant here at Bidolf Grange. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you're inspired to see more places like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more adventures.